when you take over a program and you know there's so many things Jim Harbaugh's going through this at Michigan and both you at Florida and Harbaugh at Michigan the, the team is playing with a purpose you, you can the team's better than it was last year is there something that I wouldn't know in my audience wouldn't know that when you go to take over a program are there early steps that you do that I don't see because you and Harbaugh clearly something's clicking that, that, that it, you're making baby steps but I can watch Michigan and Florida and say oh hell those are th- these are different teams what's something that I don't know that you do to fix a program that's a little bit in in chaos or a little bit unsteady well I don't know you know change is hard on everybody now and uh you know that's why we like routine in our life and uh you know that's why I went to the same you know, Circle K down on the corner and got my coffee every day calling there and Cheney, yeah. you know, because it was, you know, it was routine, whether it was right or wrong, who knows, right? But um, really for us, I think the big thing is is understanding, developing trust, understanding ownership. And what I mean there is, is the players own this brand. They own this current Gator team. And not alienating anybody from the organization but understanding that based on your choices, these are the, these are things that are going to happen. And, you know, for us, it was simply, we took the first week off as, as a team, other than they were assigned to come up here every day and see how we were doing. And it was building the relationship. And uh, I got to tell you, I, the, the, the players have, have done an outstanding job of understanding the why. You know, it used to be when you and I played, if a coach told you to do something, you just went and did it. Well, now I think them understanding the why yeah, and then giving them the how and really giving them the blueprint moving forward, now their expectations can change. And uh, so far, our guys have done a really good job of that. You're an offensive-minded coach. Brian Kelly at Notre Dame, Steve Sarkeesian, Kevin Sumlin, offensive-minded coaches. Nick Saban's a defensive-minded coach. Urban Meyer's offensive-minded. This new stomp your feet, no huddle, 100 plays a game, you've had to change as an offensive coach. But, Jim, it does seem like the rules now favor all you offensive guys. Have you liked this six- or seven-year sort of change in offensive football? You know, I always – I love I love the innovation. I love the fact there's n- something new. There's there you know the way people push the envelope of oh I can do this. Let's go ahead and do it. Right. Um, I think it's great. Now, flip side of that whole coin, let's not you know look w- curl flat has been run since they started throwing the football. Right. <laughs> now, how you get to curl flat? is what I kind of love about watching all the different offenses today. And, uh, you know, I'm a firm believer it's a little bit cyclical because if you look at the time even back when we were back in the Big Sky Conference when Dennis Erickson took his fullback and eliminated him and yep. put a little wide receiver out there, that now defenses had to be more nickel. So now defenses to beat that spread stuff got a little bit littler, faster, well, then all of a sudden you start to see some teams that now, okay, they're on the field, so let's get bigger and start pounding these guys. So do you feel, Mac, do you feel like we've gotten so much about space and speed that the physical play will eventually come back and we'll run the ball more in three years? You know, hard to say because I don't have a crystal ball, but we learned because of our education at Eastern Washington University Yes, that Historical precedence helps you look into the future. And when you look at football, it, you know, it, it evolves. You can remember option. Now everybody went away from that, but really what people are doing now is going back to options, even if it's, you know, RPOs, it, it run play action options. You know, it's, it's really, it's kind of interesting when you think of it from a historical standpoint. And yet, um, you know, that's what makes this game so good is the innovation. 